Hello everyone and welcome back to Data Cloud Now. I'm currently in Barcelona at Mobile World Congress where I am delighted to be joined by Emma Keedwell, Head of Innovation at Vodafone Business UK. Emma, such a pleasure to have you on the program today. Hey Ryan, nice to meet you. Emma, to start with, what are some notable examples of the innovative telecom solutions that have revolutionized the data economy? Well, to be honest, we've been innovating for years. People just don't realize. Uh, all the way through the evolution of 1G through to 5G, we've been there keeping the lights on. I mean, Vodafone itself connects over 400 million mobile customers, 185 connected things around the world. So just by being there and evolving our connected networks, we've definitely been contributing. But now's our time, right? Because we're one of the trusted partners. So actually, what can we do with that data? We see a lot, we harvest a lot. The problem is we need to partner because we have a problem with regulations. But some of the notable examples have been M-Pesa, which is a, a mashup between mobile peseta. It's like a voucher system. Uh, it is now prolifically used around Africa. Uh, so we're really proud of that one because it's getting people to shop via a mobile phone, uh, it's good them getting paid, they're paying for their school fees, and we've just announced a partnership with Microsoft uh, to bring it into the next level. They can't wait to see what we're going to do in, in, in Africa with that partnership. An exciting next chapter. Emma, how does the telecom connectivity enable businesses and individuals to participate in the data economy and leverage its benefits? I think, well, first of all, it's got to be connected, right? And that's what we do really, really well. And we've been doing it for a long time. So the first mobile call, Vodafone, was hosted on our network in 1985, New Year's Day. And we're really proud of that. And ever since, we've been seriously passionate and curious about how people want to use mobile networks. So, so we have actually the backbone and we distribute the data. And now what we've got to do is creep up the stack a little bit into the devices, into the application. And that's what we're doing. So that's why we're building partnerships such as the one with Snowflake. Great to hear, Emma. How does the convergence of telecom and other technologies such as cloud computing and the Internet of Things impact this data economy? It's going to be a huge impact for sure. Um, if you think about what we've gone through at a connectivity level, uh, 2G was about you know, mobile data, 3G, then it was a mobile broadband. 4G has been promising quite a bit, uh, moving, working from home. But 5G will see a step change, okay? You'll see a huge processing of low latency. Uh, you'll have an amazing, reliable security and availability of the, of the service. And you'll be able to have, offer high-speed uh, application processing. So people will travel more, consume more, and we'll see a huge revolution in the way we work. Thank you for that perspective, Emma. What are the implications of 5G technology on the growth and expansion of the data economy? Oh, profound, uh, really, really profound. It will unlock values right across every industry. In fact, I can't think of a single industry it won't actually affect. Um, at the moment in the UK, we're really, really looking at rolling out our network. And a couple of focus areas are hospitals, connected hospitals, health, agriculture, real society impact projects. So uh, 5G will actually go not only up to the door, but into the door of hospitals. So imagine that. I'd love that. So you'll be able to actually have a connected hospital, connected ambulances on the go. And then if you look at what we've got in our, in our DNA is the mobile side. So you'll have a closed loop process between how the doctors are working, how they're delivering the services, and then how the actual end user is consuming the services. So we're really excited about the next network shift. I'm looking forward to seeing what's next. Thank you so much for joining me here today. No problem. And for the audience watching, I'm Ryan Green with Data Cloud Now in Barcelona from Mobile World Congress. I'll see you soon.